You see, the meaning of your recurring nightmares is simple to interpret, mighty one. The unstoppable legions of the doomed will pursue you forever until one, their tortured spirits are freed from Skullmaster's crystal of souls, or two, you are dead, whichever comes first. Some choice. Well, there is another alternative. A sufficient gathering of heroes should supply us with the necessary qualities to tip the cosmic balance in our favor. Excuse me, you know real heroes will help? Why didn't you say so, Virgil? I mean, I've been running around almost getting killed all this time, and you're buddies with Batman? No, 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 no. Real heroes, the kind with certain attributes that make them uh, what they are. We should look to the four corners of the globe for what we seek. Beowulf from the north, Yona Yayin from the west, Hanuman from the far east, and Mujaji from the south. Mujaji. Cool. What a front line. I'll just sit back and let them save the day. Oh, no, 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 mighty one. We follow you. Me? But they're the heroes. I mean, come on, they're not going to listen to some kid. You are the cap bearer. You are the only one who can save us all from Skullmaster's dark designs. And save myself, too. Well, all things considered, maybe I am just crazy enough to do it. Excellent. Then off we go to Denmark. Beowulf is wrestling here. On the two, three, he's out! And the winner and the new champion, the Smite for Steve and all! Well, now I'm really not impressed. Get yourself another manager, Joyke. I've had enough. Who are you, my new manager? In a manner of speaking, yes. This is Mighty Max, the cap bearer. He is here to lead you on a noble quest. Charmed. Uh, I don't know, Virgil. I mean, we're supposed to storm Skull Mountain with a big fat loser like this? Look at him! <laughs> Maybe we could drop the slob on Skullmaster or something, huh? He was a great warrior. Once. But that's just it, Norm. I can't believe that this is the same guy who tore off Grendel's arm in Hrothgar's hall. The guy I read about and wanted to be like. You? You wanted to be like me? Oh, you... you shame me, mighty one. That's the idea. Just another golden idol from my childhood. Tarnished beyond hope of repair. <laughs> Enough. I can still master the old spirit and join you on this last quest, Cat Bearer! <laughs> I am Beowulf! Wow! Well done, my brother. And well done to you, mighty one. Your thorough knowledge of the Beowulf saga is proof that our beleaguered educational system is still doing a fine job. Whatever. Hey, let's go get us our next hero, okay? That's Yuna Yain, killer of monsters? Come on, he's a fossil. He looks older than the hills. How are we supposed to go into battle with him? Okay, okay, you win. Don't... Shoot! A most impressive display of skill, warrior. Indeed. A joy to behold. We go now. Well, looks like we bagged our second hero, Verge. Truly, it was clever of you to stand next to the rattlesnake, mighty one. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, uh, uh it's always good to have a plan, you know. So this next hero's ability is wit? Like, what, he thinks fast on his feet or something? Yes, like Odysseus and the Coyote Legends. He's intelligent and a trickster. Behold, Hanuman, the Monkey King. You're kidding. This flea-bitten chimpanzee is a hero? <laughs> What's he gonna do, throw banana peels at Skullmaster? Truly, mighty one, he is a lion among monkeys. 
Hello, great warrior. The time has come. We need your heroic qualities to aid us in our quest. Oh, sorry to disappoint you, mighty one. Oh, I know who you are. But I've given up the strenuous and uncertain life of a hero for the ease and luxury provided by this zoo. Oh, dear. All the comforts of home and no running around having stupid humans trying to skewer you with a sword or a spear. But you're a hero. We need him. Okay, fine. Then we gotta bust him out of here. Whether he wants to or not. No, you can't do this. I do not want to be a hero again. Please. Sometimes you gotta do things, whether you want to or not. Yes, sometimes you do. Come on, Leroy, I want to bag me a rhinosaurus. I am a Mujaji, she who must be obeyed. You are breaking statues 37A and 451B, E and F. If you fill out the forms in triplicate and file them with the hunting commission, there are other animals you can hunt. But that rhino is off limits. Just read these. That's Mujaji, the warrior woman? Oh, scary. I bet those big mean rednecks are quivering in their clod hoppers. She was not always this. The civilization has quenched her fire. You know her, Norm? Oh, Mujaji! Did we two vanquish the harpies with a handful of flimsy papers? And what of this garment? Where are your warrior's vestments? I hardly recognized you. Norman! Uh, these are different times. One must change or perish. I fight my battles with red ink and correction fluid now, but the fight continues, and this suit costs $900. Thank you very much. Change is affected by the edge of a sword. Not anymore it isn't, you great water buffalo. Well, this is really great. We come all the way to Africa to find a hero, and we come up with a glorified paper pusher. Who are you, boy, to question? Mighty one, forgive me, I did not notice. How may I help? Ah, forget it, Mooj. You got nothing we can use anyway. But I'll tell you what, I'll give you a call if I ever need a good lawyer. Nobody I can see. Welcome to the quest. Farewell, brave one. Be good. Since the one portal leads directly into the room of the crystal, it should be a simple enough matter for us to gain access, destroy the crystal. I just don't think I can do this. But mighty one. Stop calling me that. I'm not mighty. I'm just a kid. These guys, waiting for me to lead them into Skullmaster's jaws, they are mighty. I, I mean, what if I say the wrong thing or, or if I lead us into a trap? You must do this. It is prophecy. <sighs> well, look. Oh, okay, okay. How about this? What if I just open the portal, wait here, and, and you guys can smash the crystal, huh? I promise I won't budge from this spot till you're back. And how would we get back without the cap bearer to open the exit portal? You need an exit token? Here! I won't take it. You are the mighty one. We are yours to lead. Hmm. Let's start walking. I'll show you the world. Anything's better than dying. But what about Skullmaster? Ha! If it's not one evil, it's another. He's been around for 10,000 years. He'll hold. But this is his destiny. He cannot walk away from that. Oh, I did. Only you could have gathered these heroes in the first place, Mighty Max. You were born to lead them. The fate of the world depends on you. Forget the world. What about you? <sighs> I think I'd rather be in Fresno. Well, I have to. Soul should be right over
Pirates are better than one. Not bad. You two make a pretty good team. Bad of me. Wait. I hear the earth screaming. Move! Why did you know they were coming? Intuition, mighty one. You must use your intuition. It will open your senses and anticipate the movement of the world around you. And never stop fighting! I stick my neck out for no one anymore. <laughs> Not the most heroic philosophy, my hairy friend. But it does have its merits as far as survival is concerned. Staying alive is all that's important to me. Since my karma is somewhat shy and spotless, I'll probably be reincarnated as a tapeworm. Whoa, out of the way! Heads up! Coming through! Hero on the loose! Whoa! Nice shooting, bud! So that's legendary skill, huh? <laughs> Man, thanks. It is nothing, mighty one. Skill is merely focus. When focus is achieved, you need only release it. Use your wits, kid. Stay on the high ground. And after you. See? Nothing to it. With great spirit, does he not? Killing them all, run by run. Death was my error, then I did it all. Yeah, but he's got a tin air. Listen, Verge, I got this feeling that I'm really getting close to the crystal. Intuition, mighty one. The teachings of Mujaji are taking hold. The crystal waits in a cavern at the top of these stairs, as does Skullmaster. Skullmaster? By myself? Oh. Why did we recruit all of these heroes if I gotta face Skullmaster by myself? You are not alone, Mighty One. The heroes have allowed you to come this far. They have taught you many things. It is your destiny to face Skullmaster and shatter the crystal. So you keep telling me? The fate of a million doomed souls, of the very world, rests upon your shoulders, Mighty One. Great. So it's a no-pressure kind of thing. Is that what you're telling me? See you, Birch. <laughs> Got to it, Matty Run. Remember, a powerful spirit will overcome any obstacle. Said there, fella. Let me show you a little trick. I once taught a guy named Grendel. <laughs> Welcome, mighty one. Enter and die. A powerful spirit will overcome any obstacle. You must open your senses and anticipate the movements of the world. When focus is achieved, you need only release it. Stay on the high ground. Let the other guy do the work for you.
which remains to you. I will teach you a thousand subtle shades of pain, a hundred ways to die, until I finally lay your lifeless body at my master's table. Hero! Get off while you can! You can't beat Skullmaster! He'll kill you! Yeah, well, maybe I'll come back as a butterfly! Prepare to find out, insect! Run! It's my... destiny! You've gotta help him! We must hurry to the exit portal so his sacrifice is not in vain! What you... It is the way of the cosmic balance, mighty one! The portal is approximately 30 feet in that direction. Just like last time, how could I forget? And no digging machines to ride out on us before. Oh, some leader I am. Alas, poor Hanuman. Ah, oh, well, he'll soon have company. And the last to die will watch the first five go before him. <laughs> Say, mighty one, I see your plan. As do I. Ujaji! They cannot do this! Kill them! Kill them all! Come on, everybody! Time to hook out of here! We must hold Skull not to at bay, or no one will escape! It is destiny on Kaber. It is fate for us to make this stand. No! We can't just leave you guys! We'll manage somehow. If not, I'll see you in Valhalla! No! Oh, brave one! Be good! It is destiny. Mighty One. we went around the world to find heroes who could help us defeat Skullmaster, Beowulf from Europe, Yona Yain from North America, Hanuman from Asia, and Mujaji from Africa. Every culture, every land has its heroes, and there's something we can learn from all of them. We should all remember that. See you next week.
faithful lava beast. To move, to feel. It must be the crystal of souls is shattered. Skull Master, that gutless thief corrupted its power to gauge my might and steal my kingdom! But now that I'm free, I will have my revenge! Waiting. The shattering of my crystal released you, Lava Lord. But your freedom will lead to obliteration, not revenge. And as for the cupbearer who caused this disaster, I crave nothing more than the chance to shatter him in return. Shredded automotive obstacle course with the greatest of ease. Thank you very much. Audacious maneuvering, Max. Ha, you ain't seen nothing yet, buddy. Watch me maximize this mobile. Oh, yeah. Now, this is what being a kid is all about, man. Excitement in my veins, the wind in my face. Ancient Fowl directs Mighty One to nearest portal? Typical. Just what I didn't need. Right not, Virgil, pal. Mighty Max has retired. I like my life just as it is. Thank you very much. the state pen than Virgil. Oh, no. Not again. Nice to see you, Mighty One. Virgil, you know I hate summit conferences. Desperate times call for desperate measures, Mighty One. Follow me. There's not a second to waste. L listen, I've been meaning to talk to you about this Mighty One thing, Virg, okay? <laughs> Virgil, I've had it. I am giving you back the cap. You can't. It is your destiny to be the cap bearer and to go back to Skull Mountain and destroy Skullmaster. No, Virgil. I am serious, okay? This is it. No more. Zip, nada, finito. Stick me with a fork. I am done. The end. Very well. If that is your wish, there is one way to relieve you of this burden. Follow me. You see, because of an impending battle in the underworld, not to mention your destruction of the Crystal of Souls, Skullmaster has been so distracted and weakened, you should be able to destroy him before he even knows you're there. Uh, speaking of there, where are we now? I believe it's a little town called Pamplona. Now stop interrupting me and run! You see, mighty one, even though it's earlier than I'd planned, we can still defeat Skullmaster, but only if you do what I say. Uh, okay, sure. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. No matter what happens, when the time comes, you must do exactly what I say. You must promise. 
Okay. Okay, Verge, I, I promise. Good. No more of this hero stuff. No more Mighty Max, okay? No more Mighty Max. For in destroying Skullbuster, we all will have fulfilled our destiny. And perhaps more than lava as well. You rock monsters, into position now! For the only thing that could make the annihilation of Lava Lord more satisfying would be to share my triumph with a very old friend. Now quickly, before anyone knows we've arrived in Skull Mountain, we must... Oh dear. <laughs> Your strategic maneuvers were always so painfully easy to anticipate. I knew you would come to pick over my dead bones, old friend. You know, I was afraid of something like that. This time, we'll be picking over chicken bones. Attack! So, Birch, any random thoughts about a possible plan B? Fall in behind the Guardian and run! But he's not! Follow me! Okay, let's go, Virgil! Virgil? Virgil, where are you? Fear not, mighty one! It is your destiny to emerge victorious! Norman! Norman, get back here! We gotta save Virgil! No, mighty one, no! You agreed to follow my instructions exactly, and my instructions are to run! <laughs> Virgil very happy if, for once, you just did what he asked you to. Your choice, mighty one. Man! Oh, come on, Norman. What'll it be? Should we jump for the portal and save our lives? Destroy the Capbera! Or take on the combined forces of the underworld and try to save our friend who's probably already dead? Like I said, mighty one, it's up to you. Yeah, you did say that, didn't you? Oh, well, I'll probably regret this in the morning, but let's get him! I knew you'd make the sensible choice. Okay. Oh, no, not these guys, too! <sighs> Lava Lord learns of your intrusion into his realm. He commands you come immediately. <laughs> And if we don't? You die. I can live with that. So, you think Virgil's gonna be...
be okay? No. Uh, I was afraid you'd say that. Hey, wait a minute. Check it out. That rock bridge looks like it leads back to Skull Mountain. All I ask is one clean shot at Skullmaster. Just one. <laughs> Now the Lord awaits. Go! Sorry, Sparky, but we got a 10,000-year-old chicken we need to see first. After him! Hey, Normie! What say you slow that hot shot down, huh? No sweat, mighty one! <laughs> Easy for him to say. I mean, this critter is warm. Keep running! Suppose we got it wrong, and Virgil's supposed to rescue us? It's good to see you, Virgil, old friend. Uh, but I've been thinking, even though you were my teacher in those distant days of Lemuria's golden age, there were many lessons I learned that you never taught. Lessons of cruelty and selfishness. Lessons of effectiveness and realism. In case you haven't noticed, the world is a very cruel place. Take, for example, the destruction of my prized possession, the Crystal of Souls, by your nasty little cap bearer. On the other hand, friendship also has its place. Old friend. You imply that I should use my wisdom to help restore your crystal. Why should I? So I can stop your cap bearer from destroying me. Of course. You want me to interfere with your destiny? It's impossible. What is written must be. In case you've forgotten, oh, friend. It is also written that your destiny and mine are inextricably bound. When I die, you are doomed as well. And the treasures of the ancient wisdom will perish with us forever. So, old friend, which will it be? Life and sovereign power with me. Or death. Oh, tell me, little one, is there any reason I shouldn't toss you into that lava pit? Because you value your life? And sorry, wrong answer, and now we'll go to contestant number two. Because we're enemies of Skullmaster just like you? Ah, a better answer. But why exactly does that make you puny creatures special? Well, apart from the fact that this cap right here says it's my destiny to destroy that boneheaded monster, um, I guess nothing at all. You? Destined to destroy Skullmaster? <laughs> Wait. There is a legend that speaks of a mighty one who will come to the underworld. <laughs> But how could the Mighty One be a worm like you? Hey, I'm here, aren't I? <laughs> At least you're a worm with a sense of humor. <laughs> Come, I'll show you what will destroy Skullmaster. Behold, the ultimate engine of destruction. I give you Magus. Whoa! Oh man, with this bad boy we could march up to Skull Mountain and snatch Virgil without blinking an eye! <laughs> <laughs> 
absolutely nothing. Look now and learn. Okay, that's pretty cool sound and light effects, but, uh, what can it do? <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> Don't you see, Virgil? There are only two possible results if you pursue this ridiculous prophecy to the end. Either your cap bearer succeeds and we both die, or your cap bearer fails and you die all by yourself. There is, however, a third possibility. I'm listening. You know you can't count on this worm of a cap bearer you call Max. Whereas my strength and your mind can ensure that the wisdom of Lemuria will prevail. And so you are suggesting a partnership? Ah, oh. hmm, an intriguing proposition. Of course, the key to making our dream come true is <laughs> the cap. Of course. The cap it is. Well, I will agree, but only if you spare the boy. Spare Vex. Very well. But I must have the cap. Agreed. Now listen carefully, Skullmaster. I am beginning, yes indeed, I am beginning to formulate a plan. <laughs> has come from Skull Mountain. Norman, is that who I think it is? Virgil? But what's he doing with Skullmaster? Attack! Max, honey, are you in here? Hmm, knowing my son, he could be just about anywhere. Journey to the Center of the Earth by Jules Verne. And Dante's Inferno. Just a little light reading for my Max. That's where Max must be. Curled up with a good book at the library. Where it's peaceful, quiet, and safe. Previously on Mighty Max. The shattering of my crystal released you, Lava Lord. But your freedom will lead to obliteration. No matter what happens, when the time comes, you must do exactly what I say. You must promise. Virgil? Virgil, where are you? I give you Magus. A partnership. A tank. <laughs> Don't know. Curse that Skullmaster for attacking me before I can attack him. Ah! Capbera, meet your doom. It took me a long time to grow that hair. Hey, Normie, it took me even longer to grow this head. <laughs> nice backhand, Normie. Learned it on the center court in Camelot. 
Why is Virgil helping Skullmaster? Virgil's doing it. There's a reason. <laughs> well, if you figure it out, don't be shy about letting me know, okay? This way, mighty one. Hurry! Capbearer, your quest is ending. Now! Well, Norman, are you ready? You know I'm ready. So am I! Master, you thief, 5,000 years ago, you stole my kingdom, but now I'm back to take my revenge! Lava Lord, only a mewling coward hides behind machinery. A true warrior would meet me sword to sword. Norman, he's not talking to you. Nuts! This is my battle, little ones. It's my hand that will destroy Skullmaster! You run to this muley coward. What? You Skullmaster, this is important. Macus knee mechanism is his weakest point. Well done, old friend. Warmonger, follow me. <laughs> your strategy is impeccable. It's time. Concentrate your attack on the cap bearer. Now. Virgil, what are you saying? Enjoy your next breath, cap bearer. It will be your last. Norman, get to Magus, quick. Do something. Uh, Norman, I need you to work the missile system. I hate technology. But I love a good explosion. Woo! Yeah! Somehow I knew you'd find a way, buddy. Now, if I can just get this big lug into first gear, you might still have a chance. No! Megas is mine! is 
doing as I expected. Skullbuster, it is time to put the final stage of our plan into effect. Warmonger, Rock Monsters Retreat! <laughs> What's going on? Your mentor is teaching you your final lesson. Always back a winner. Virgil, no. This can't be. Pull yourself together, Normie. We may not know what's going on, but I am the cap bearer, and you are the guardian. It's our job to save the world, and that's exactly what we're gonna do! Thanks, buddy. I needed that. Congratulations, Virgil. The cap bearer is doing exactly what you said he would. In fact, it looks as if I have judged you unfairly all these thousands of years. It seems that your deviousness and trickery more than match my own. They most certainly do. But remember, you must spare the boy. Into your positions! Now! Big guy, it's our turn to crash the party. At Skullmaster's house! You think we should knock? Mmm. No. Remember, Warmonger, I must have the cap. Yes, and the two humans. You may destroy them any way you see fit. At last, everything is going according to plan. Hey, Normie, um, okay, I don't want to jump to conclusions, but if Skullmaster doesn't yell, Happy Birthday, in about five seconds, I'm gonna have to believe Virgil just led us into a trap. Cap bearer, the time has come to meet your fate. Uh, I guess the surprise birthday party theory is definitely out. <laughs> believe Virgil would do this to us, Normie! You mean help us get a weapon that can turn Skullmaster into bone dust? Yeah. I never thought of it like that. Master was right. After 5,000 years, the moment of destiny has finally arrived. The peculiar thing is... <laughs> Sometimes even destiny requires a helping hand. Bob Almighty One! Yes! 
No! 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 Yes! Oh yes! Mighty one, I need your full attention now. Why should I listen to a stinky traitor like you? Forget your question and remember your promise. You agreed to do exactly what I ordered, and my orders are destroy Skullbuster now. You see? I told you Virgil had everything under control. What? You mean all this was, was planned so Skullmaster could take the big fall? Cool! <laughs> well, just let me get old Bone Face in my sights here, and I'll be happy to oblige. Oh, no! I should snap your foul neck for your treachery, but since I still need you, that pleasure will have to be postponed. <laughs> What are you waiting for, Mighty Max? Shoot and be done with it forever! Your final moment as a hero has come! If you destroy me, Virgil dies as well. Mighty One, what are you going to do? I don't know. Mighty Max, you promise to follow my directions exactly, no matter the consequences. And my directions are to fire your missiles now. to the upper world is just over the falls. The choice is yours. Either kill your friend or take us all through the portal to the upper world. Listen to me, mighty one. It is written that when Skullbuster dies, I must die as well. As Cap Bearer, you must destroy us both to save the world. Oh, get out of here, Virgil. You know I can't do that. <laughs> You better do something, Mighty One. Or we're all doomed anyway. Not him, too. One! You stole Magus, my creation. And now you must face the reckoning. Come on, Norman. We're getting out of here. Max. You must fulfill your destiny. It is written. Hey, Virgil, in my book, it's written that you don't save the world by killing your friends, okay? Skullmaster, on my word, I want you and Virgil to jump. One, two, three! No! Magus, my creation, I'll save you! To be 
in the day world to be free. <laughs> so much for your prophecy, old friend. And thank you, mighty one, for the role you played in my destiny. At last, a clean shot. for me as I knew you would. Your 5,000 years of slumber have ended. <laughs> I am back where I belong. Back to force all to bow before me as they will forever. Now, Did I do something wrong? You agreed to follow my instructions to fulfill your destiny. But what you did instead was to take the greatest evil this world has ever known and set it free! Calm down, Virgil. You know what these outbursts do to your blood pressure. Yeah. <sighs> <clears throat> On the other hand, uh, uh, since destiny is composed of equal parts, uh, chance, free will, and necessity, when you exerted your free will uh, by refusing to take an innocent life, uh, namely my own, rather than altering your destiny, you've actually raised it to a higher plane. Well done! Uh, do you have any idea what he just said? I think he said you're going to be the cap bearer for a very long time. Because of your actions, Skullmaster now has the opportunity to destroy the world. But never fear, the right way is frequently the more difficult way. And after all, you are the mighty one. Mighty one. Oh no! If you don't have a portal to the center of the Earth, the ocean bottom is the best place to start. Because there, the Earth's crust is only four miles thick. But once you get to the next layer, the mantle, you still got 1,800 miles to go until you reach the center of the Earth. Now there, you'll find super hot molten rocks. And take it from me, until you've been there with nothing but a cap, a guardian, and a 10,000-year-old chicken, <laughs> you don't know what hot really means. See ya! me, people of Mala Nanuka, the Dragon Isle. I offer you immortality and power. I will make of you gods. If you will but drink of the dragon's blood and serve me, who will drink?
Why do you hesitate? Drink, Tamori. Poor fool, and I shall make an example of him. that. How do I know you're not just tape hiss? Very amusing. Go to the bandstand in the town park and take the portal you find there. And hurry. Oh, man. There goes my childhood. Why do I have to be the mighty one today? Three, two, one. Hmm. How odd. My calculations were off. Three point sixty one seconds off to be exact. Nobody's perfect. I gotta tell you, Verge, this mighty one deal is really cutting into my fun. There are more important things than fun. We have a circus to visit. Circus? Hey, why didn't you say so? I believe I just did. You call this dump a circus? Why are we here, Virgil? Kalikinaka hulina! Kalikinaka hulina! Yeah, well, Kalikinaka hulina! Right back at ya! It's an obscure Proto-Polynesian dialect. It translates roughly as Mighty One. No way! Norman, help our friend out, will you? Hey, buddy, just call me Kaliki Naka for short, okay? <laughs> Everyone does. My prize freak! Get them! Kaliki Naka Hulina! No, Max. Okay, Max. Tomori! Tomori! I love this circus. Skullmaster has invaded Tomori's island. It is your fate, Mighty One, to face him there. Swell. Where is this island? A thousand miles east of here, but there is a portal. Now we must hurry. <laughs> Circus! Now you die! <laughs>
I hate to correct a brilliant Lemurian chicken, but this is not an island! I don't understand it. I... Merge? He can't swim. Rob, I can't swim! We heard. Where's the island? Curious. The map is always correct, yet the island is gone. So what went wrong? Nothing went wrong, mighty one. The portals have always been here. Therefore, the only possible explanation is that the island has moved. We'll never find Mala... Mala... Mala Nanuka. Yeah, what he said. Yes. Oh dear. A welcoming committee. That's Mr. Kaliki Naka to you, lizard boy. That's no way to make friends, Normie. I'm ashamed of myself. They look pretty creepy to me. Tomori doesn't remember there being a hill here. Maybe we can climb above this fog, huh? Ma, did we just take a portal to Bayonne, New Jersey? That is sulfur. And, uh, brimstone? Uh, perhaps volcanic in origin. Now well, it's even foggier up here. Hey, Norm, you got a sinus problem? No. Earthquake? I wish. Guys, we're hanging out on a dragon! One, the flapping of the dragon's wings moves the island. Yeah, well, it'll never replace jet skis. <laughs> hey, where's Norman? Oh, dear. I've fished with bigger worms than you. He was the guardian, mighty one. Come, the world is depending on you. Okay, you're the brilliant one, Virgil. Think of something fast! Very well. Uh, one possible means of deflecting attack could be... Get it!
<laughs> Is it over? Uh, you could say that. Take them to Skull Master. Again, I ask of you, drink the blood of the dragon. Why isn't he changing? He drank of the cup. Perhaps goodness cannot be driven out, Skullmaster. Perhaps a man must accept evil willingly. Oh, yes. An interesting philosophical point, my old friend. Shall we put your theory to the test? Let's see how well your beloved cap-bearer stands up to evil. Take him! No. Kaliki Naka Hulina. If I were to offer you this cup of dragon's blood... Now that wouldn't make me evil. It'd make me hurl. Let us see. Drink! Normie! Pick on someone your own size. You will suffer for this impudence. You will beg for mercy. Yeah, right. Oh, man. Does dragon blood stain? Because my mom's going to kill me when she sees this. Look at that. There is no escape. Let's go. Um, which way? Uh, to the beach, uh, I think. Uh, th that is. Verge, look! We can navigate that boat toward a portal. Yeah, if we can find a way to get down there, maybe we can jump? Rukabamu! Barigada! Well, that was my next suggestion! <laughs> I gotta admit, this is way cooler than a bike path! the end, Cat-Bearer. Fire and eternal pain and torment for all but my followers. Find us a portal, Verge? Like, quick, okay? Oh, the, the island has been moving. My map is useless. I've failed you, mighty one. Oh, come on, Verge. Do that Lemurian thing. You did it before, you can do it again. Oh, dear. I'm afraid we're approaching a portal, but we'll never reach it in time. <laughs> well, then I guess there's only one thing left to do. Hey, Skullmaster! 
I, uh, I want to make a deal. Deal? What kind of deal? Um, well, I never asked to be the cat bearer, you know. I don't want the responsibility. I just want to be a kid again. Mighty one. No. I'll give you the cap. If you, if you just let me go. Very well. I accept your cowardly offer. I knew you were unworthy. Now they know it too. It is the end of their ridiculous hero worship. It is the beginning of a new era. It is the birth of Dragon Island. I'm sorry, guys. I, I never said I was a hero. The cap. Give it to me. Mighty one! See ya, Boneface! We had a deal! Sorry, I got a better offer! Incinerate them! This disgusting thing off me. Ew, dragon loogies. Luca. Yes, Tamori thanks you, mighty one. He says he's sure that one day his people will reclaim their island, and they know that when that day comes, it will be thanks to the courage and sacrifice of the revered mighty one. You will always have their gratitude. He said all that? I paraphrased. I'm curious, mighty one. What would you have done if Skullmaster had got the cap before we reached the portal? Eh, I don't know, Verge. I'd have thought of something. After all, I am Kalikinaka Hulina. If you're like me, you love a good lizard. And the really big ones come from the island of Komodo. The nearly extinct Komodo dragons are the world's largest lizards. They grow to 10 feet in length and weigh up to 300 pounds. They'll eat small animals, slow-running tourists, and even each other. I prefer the well-fed smaller lizards. See you next time, lizard lovers.